Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Wednesday, January the 17th, the year's 2024. Let's talk trading, trading with Walmart. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine and differ from Walmart. Walmart, the traders like it when we do these trading videos, and uh, I guess we kind of left them in suspense with that trade you, you made yesterday. Yeah, I had that short trade that I had taken yesterday, and uh, it had taken some time to develop, a little bit more time than I wanted it to take, but uh, at the end of the day, it was a winning trade. It just uh, had to go wait. Uh, I think I got out of the trade maybe about three or four minutes after the video had ended, but uh, I got out, I think I took like three, three pips or something like that. Not a lot of pips, but just a, a few, but that's also all I was looking for. Because if you go back and look at that trade, um, the reality of it was I was trading against uh, a little bit of headwind, meaning I was trading into an, an M30 going in the wrong direction, and uh, uh, so sort of like I'm just gonna I'm just looking to make a few pips here and get out and uh, be happy with it. And that's exactly what I was able to do. So, you know. So right now, where are we? We're kind of still in the midst of this. Uh, we had a news event. Probably about, oh, I guess maybe about 20, 25 minutes ago, I guess. Uh, looking at it, yeah, 26 minutes ago, we had a news event that drove the uh, the dollar, uh, the pound dollar, rather, down about 20 pips or so. And so now we're in this thing of we're running inside that, uh, inside that bar back and forth, trying to determine whether or not it's going to go and fully. Uh, go and actually go up from here or if it's going to continue the downward on it. Um, what's interesting is that we did complete that return bar created by the news um, was completed, at least it was completed on my truck, maybe not on yours because it uh, looks like mine it actually completed it right to the uh, right to the pip. So Yeah, same here. That's why I was kind of kicking myself when I took those longs down there in the 40 and the 50 range. It's should have thought, you know what? They got a return bar. We got the launch pad, usually good for 40 to 60. Yep. Yeah. yeah and well, you saw me. I took that one trade. And I, I went in at, uh, I think I got in at 46.2. Looking at it now, I got in 46.2. And uh, the funny part was I jumped out at, uh, at uh, 53. Point five or something like that that's when i was looking to get out and i wouldn't pick up seven bits but those uh but those broke those mean brokers <laughs> <laughs> i got i got out with only 5.4 bits because they went uh they went took some took two full, uh, they took uh, almost two full pips away from me so <laughs> but it's like yesterday or the day before i recall which it was must have been yesterday you know they gave me 2.3 pips on one particular trade so, you know, it washes out. Yeah. <coughs> but anyway, we're sitting here waiting for a trade to develop. We got it up. Got it, you know, on Kindle 1 on in one minute, we got it up. You know, uh, but the thing is, uh, you know, it's uh, it still was a down. It was, it was a bullish candle, but we had a lower low, and we didn't have a high, higher high. So to me, it's sort of like, yeah, okay, you can go and take that trade if you want, but it's a kind of a, it's a risky trade to go and take. Um, unless you take this as a short. I mean, if you take it as a short, then yeah, that's uh, that, that's a that's a good that you know uh, that may be a good thing. The only problem with making a short here is that we got a what they call a needle pro uh, pattern, uh, which would start at candle 13 which is that la that last big down candle and then candle 12 is that big up <laughs> so um so that generally speaking means that that's a a pattern showing that you're going to go long you, you'd want to go long on that pattern um and, it, and, and if anything else is going to develop but it's some type of shelf around there and the problem is that like where you would go short here would be at uh, 47.4, and so that candle pattern starts at 46.1.
So that's only that, that only gives you basically, um, you know, it only gives you 1.3 pips. And when you start figuring in commission and spread, well, that's, you know, I, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, we're at the top of the hour, which is also a new H4. Yes, it's uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time, Eastern U.S. time. Yes, yeah, six o'clock here on the Pacific. So here would be a place to along. Yeah, you've got a uh, you got the flip flop box. Yep. Other things I didn't get a trigger, but um, I got the pattern. I got the setup. I just don't have the trigger. <laughs> And you have to tell the uh, tell the traders what the trigger is. <laughs> oh, I gotta go and I gotta break. Uh, what is that? I gotta break the high of the of candle one, and so that would mean on my chart anyway. I gotta get to uh, fifty point nine. And, oh, uh, and just for do you um, just so the traders know. Um, because depending on the spread, do you go, do you have, if you're going long, do you want to see the ask break it or the bid break it? I want to go and see uh, the, uh, the ask break it. Okay. Because I know a lot of traders wonder about that. Like on, because the broker yeah. that I used to uh, make these videos have like a one point three pips spread so yeah <laughs> yeah that that particular broker you, you lose it <laughs> it's that type of thing but this type of trading you just really couldn't be profitable doing it you know you said sitting there with a you know basically 1.3 and 1.5 because i i looked at that broker at one point in time and yeah you know and i'm not saying that that's a bad broker you know it's just that's their business model. So, okay, here we go. I'm in. We'll see what happens. Yeah, just so uh, traders know, something that I've been looking at here, a neat little pattern. Um, if the uh, if candle one makes a lower low than candle two, but it closes above the uh, low of candle one, then on the when this candle opens, you I just jump I jump in long um, and look for a pip or two, and then if Maybe if that pip it. or two, it, well the thing is if it comes quick you stick, if it doesn't come quick then you bail. Um, sometimes you know uh, waiting for the uh, candle to develop. Um, you know, it can go either way, so you just have to be careful. And then, like on this one, it's probably a good idea to get out if it makes a, because see, this made a higher high. In fact, it gapped up, came back down, but there's a potential for this candle to come all the way back down to the 48.5 or the open um, and fill in this uh, imbalance. So that's just something to look for. Uh, why don't you explain in balance? Oh, like sure. Um, well, for example, here, this low to this low. Actually, let will explain it this way. Looking here at this low, when this candle comes down, the distance between here and here is now an imbalance. And then you see how this candle tried to come back. It didn't quite fill it. So now we've got this tiny little imbalance right between 52.8 and 52.6. But you see here how this candle came just about where I said it needed to get to, to complete that imbalance. So when this candle rockets up, you take your two or three, or in this case, maybe four pips, be happy because then, um, cause it will come back and then you can just wait for a signal. So here the break of the 50, which is psychological or this candle going from, uh, 
bearish to bullish is an opportunity but you just have to uh be smart about it and and just really look at that price action and just knowing that when these imbalances are created more times than not um price will come back so in this case here you see price went down and then it went back up so and then it came back down but you can't always count on that happening so that's why you just take your two one two three four pips real quick be happy and and there we go we just completed that imbalance uh, from candle z well the imbalance between here candle two and candle four did you have that on your charts Walmart? yeah i did okay. i did and in fact that's the reason why i got out of that trade i didn't call after she was explaining right but i got out and got i took 1.8 on it and it's sort of like once you pointed it out i didn't see it mm -hmm. but when you pointed that out it's like oh boy you're right so i jumped out and i got out at uh 52.7 and you know and it got like another point or two above that and then turn around and just get the slam down to go and complete that imbalance yeah but you're exactly right it's supposed part of just reading the price action on the chart you know and we have to go and just when we're in a trade, you know, you just kind of sit there and just be looking and seeing those things, especially if you trade the way we trade it. Now, of course, this thing can break that 52.7 and run all the way up to 55 or something. You know, I don't know. But the thing is, we know that more times than not, it's going to go down and fill that imbalance, you know. And so since we know that, well, why don't we just take our money off the table? And if another opportunity just comes along to go into the trade again, because if it's going to break that 52.7, we're more than likely going to get a flip-flop box somewhere in that area, and we can take the trade break in that area, and then do it, you know, basically, it's the equivalent of doing a continuation trade. Right. You know, and, uh, and you know, it's just, a, it, it's just another way to do it. Now, personally, I tend not to do that, and not, that there's no reason not to do it. It's just me and my personality. It's the type of thing where when I get out of a trade, I'm usually, I don't want to say exhausted, but just tired, you know, and I don't, I want the break for a minute or two or three, you know, and so I just, I just know that psychologically for me, I need to go and do that and take, take a break on it. So I just go and say, hey, that's just the way it is with trading for me. I take my pip, pip and a half, you know, whatever it may be, and be happy with it. And then, uh, you know, wait for the next opportunity to come down the road. And I'll just... I'll, I'll just say, hey, I just missed that one. That's okay. Yeah. And, you know, another thing, if you're trading on M1 or M5 and you've got your chart, like I have this one as wide as can be, um, there's one thing you need to do from time to time, and that's scrunch it up so you can see the overall what's been going on. So earlier today, like during that news event right here when price came all the way down, what I had, I had seen that price had, was hitting this area and this was a level of support. So that's what kind of gave me confidence to go long because if it broke that support, then it was going to come down here. Plus, we were still above that daily open. Like right now, we're about 10 pips above it. And that's just something yeah. to, uh, to, to remember because you can get really fixated on like, you know, about maybe 15, 20 minutes worth of data but you're, you're missing the big picture. <laughs> you're exactly right. You know, and, uh, and I'm gonna, I'll be fully transparent here. That is one of my faults because I don't do that often enough, you know, and because I don't do that often enough, I, I, you know, when, generally speaking, if I go and look at my trading day at the end of the day, okay, and I go and uh, look at it and say, hey, why did I take a loss here? More times than not, is because I took a trade right into a wall. And it's like you dummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just yeah, just to show traders, here we had a lower low, but a close above the previous low, jumping at the open, and it's already making money. Um, so that's something that uh, I'll, I'll be working on and, and doing. So, fellow traders, the fastest 15 minutes of trading is just about over. So always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks.
This is the rumpled one, over and out.